All right. Well, we uh, we are on to week one. It is officially game week, 6 p.m. at Simmons Bank. We got Bethune Cookman, the Wildcats coming to town. They are off back to back, two and nine seasons. Uh, new coach Raymond Woody Jr. Mm-hmm. actually played at Bethune Cookman. He's alumni there. Uh, he's recently been linebacker, special team coach, South Florida, Oregon, Florida State, Florida Atlantic. So been down there in that that Florida region. I think he's a Tampa guy originally. Um, making his first stop, he's a he's a much more defensive minded guy. Uh, but first stop as a head head coach down there for the uh, Wildcats in Daytona Beach. TJ, what can we expect on Saturday? I mean, this has got to be beat down, suck a beat down. It 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 does feel like it should be. Uh, Pretty easy. I don't want to say easy. That's just no. Weird. That's a, easy. Is easy yes. is probably the right word though. It should be a, an easy win for the Tigers, right? Uh, Blake Mayfield put out an article, so you go check that out. Blake has an article, kind of giving you a little bit more information on Bethune Cookman. Don't let Trey and I pretend like we know much about FCS Bethune Cookman. We don't. We're just two Uber mayonnaise dudes. Just two Uber and mayonnaise dudes. Um, I do know that they have hit the portal. They have brought in a couple of guys, relatively talented guys. I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things of FBS. I mean, yeah, you FCS. got yeah, you got guys going down a level to play at the FCS level. I think uh, he had a former East Carolina quarterback. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's. Not, I mean, they're going to have guys that can play football. It's just, I mean, this should be a, this yeah. should be a six seven touchdown game. I don't like comparing it to the last time they've played. Power five. I mean, here's the thing. You got Coach Woody coming in there, and he's basically come out and said it's a total culture reset. Like, maybe if he'd been there for a little while, he's able to establish his culture. He's got a little pipeline to some states. He's bringing guys in. He's established his coaching staff, his system. But when you're doing a cultural reset, and this is game one, week one, I mean, this this has got to be like 63 to three or something. That seems a little intense for me personally. I do think that the Tigers are going to win pretty Look, handily. all I'm saying is today Coach Serverfield talked about how explosive we were at all three levels, offense, defense, and special teams. I'm expecting also not just from the run out and the new pyrotechnics. I'm expecting, expecting explosiveness all throughout Simmons Bank on Saturday. Yeah, and I don't think that's unheard of, right? I and mean, we've seen them play. Well, we've lacked a little bit of explosiveness the last couple of years. Sure, that's fair. That is definitely fair, except, you know, we did have, uh, depending on how you look at that, I think if you looked at, like, uh, explosive plays greater than 40 yards, we were really high up there, but not on anything over 20 and 60 or something. Yeah. Very specific you could statistic there. pick some stats to make it look better. Sure. Uh, but, no, I, I do think it's going to be, what year was it? We opened up with Mercer. Was that 21 or... It's something like that, right? Mercer yeah. is, a, is a good... I want to say that was Brady's first year, like 2018. 2018. I was kind of thinking 2018 at first, too. Um, but, yeah, something like that, right? It's going to be a game like that where you win handily. Um, yeah. For me... twenty eight September 1st, 2018, we won 66-14. I'm expecting the same thing. Yeah, I'm pretty close. I actually... We were up 56 nothing at half. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I need that again. What was the Southern's finish? Do you do you remember that one? I uh, I mean, we ended up winning by like thir- it was, thirty. It was it was kind of dicey but for at a, the a first half. They were running that there, like yeah. wouldn't necessarily the spread option. Yeah, the spread option, and we were struggling for a little. I mean, I want to say it was twenty one fourteen, like midway through the second quarter. Yeah, it was a little dicey for a second there. Um, we cannot have that at all. No, 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 no. I'm not worried about that. I, I'll jump into score prediction. I think it's going to be a 55 to 14 Memphis victory. 55, 14. So there's not a line on this. It's not available on the sports books. They don't do uh, the FCS. The FCS stuff. I was going to set one and get your feedback. I was going to set it at 42 and a half. You take the over or you take the tags. No, 42 and a half is a lot of points. It is a lot of that points, is but we should, amount of points. we should beat them by that much. Dude, 42 points. I just... Here's the 38 thing. and a half with this game. What's the one thing that we have really wanted Ryan to, and that team to do curb stomp someone. Yes. I would love for that as well. Maybe not curb stomping. That's pretty vulgar, but just run the damn ball successfully. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. 
Do we break the non one hundred yard rushing? Yes. Yes. We have. We yes. have. We but I let's have two. Uh, let's I don't think you're gonna have two just because so many guys are gonna touch the ball. I do think that Blake Watson will break hundred yards. I think Sutton and Blake will break hundred. I think Blake's or excuse me, Sutton will get probably seven carries, but then you're mm, yeah. It is the thing is I think the Tigers are going to get really big and it's just going to be handoff, 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 and they're going to crush the clock. And I think it's going to I be. I would a, love us to get up really big and see some gridiron penny out there just slinging that thing. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked at all. I think this is definitely a, a perfect game for Tevin to play the entire fourth quarter. The because second, if we get a 56 no, let's see at half, play the whole second half. Here's the thing. Throw some Harris Boyd out there in the fourth quarter. <laughs> we have not seen a lot of. Tevin Carter at all. We haven't outside of spring games because even last year. Well, because we very rarely curb stomp anyone. Exactly. But even last year when Seth went down, I think for an ankle or an elbow shoulder, I can't remember what yeah. I think it was his elbow. Um, Glover came in yeah, and was actually kind of dicing some dudes up, but that's not here, here nor there. That old but Glover read option was dirty. It was and quite it needed dirty. to be used more frequently. It did. I would love to see Tevin, honestly. I think it's a thing where it's like... We need a big TC game on Saturday. Not even a big one. Just give me something. I want to see him out there. And it's not just like handing off the ball. I want him to see, see him make a read, right? We, we we just haven't seen him do anything outside of the spring game. Yeah. I mean, that one bomb to... That one bomb. Are you kidding was me? great. To Eric Rivers? Well, two years... No, I'm talking about in the past spring game. He threw one to Blank. Uh, Blank um yeah. Um... I'm sorry. I just got totally thrown off because I saw this picture that Blake included in his article and these Bethune Cookman uniforms. That's not real. Are I, atrocious. I can't believe that's a real. Jersey. I mean, that's you disgusting. can't see, but basically they're maroon with like with yellow. I mean, they look like stripes, maroon vertical stripes, like a ref and, would have. Yeah, like there's referee. no way that's allowed. It's, it looks like Minnesota wore like created referee uniforms. Like University of Minnesota, the Gophers. Yeah, that's. That's horrible. I hope they do not wear those. No, I don't think they'll wear that. Because uh, what do you think we're wearing? Oh, that's. I mean, a good it's, one. it's got to be nine hundred one. It's sticker, the nine hundred. Right? It's gonna be a white helmet, blue nine hundred one sticker, blue jersey, white pants. I think that's set in stone, right? Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. It's gonna be something like that. Now that I said it's set in stone, it's probably not gonna be that. But uh, I would be shocked if it's not the nine hundred one. Um, all right, what did you say your score prediction was? I never gave fifty five to fourteen. Fifty five fourteen. That feels good. Um. I'm going to go 63 to 7. They need a 63-point 63 63 point game. I would love that to start the year at 63. 